last year all uh, before going to holidays uh, a very short but uh, for me very important key point which is um, the, the fact that you, you should always target the edge of the lesion if possible and try to cut this edge. Uh, so it's only a, a key point, but it, it seems very important. Uh, when uh, you are dissecting a lesion and you, you are close to the end, um, most of the lesions have been dis dissected. The last edge, the last border, the last margin of the lesion is sometimes very difficult to approach and to cut. You have three different views of the lesion. The top view from the, the upper side, uh, so you can see here the scope, uh, the remaining submucosa, the lesion which is tracted to the opposite side. Here you are in the front view, so it's what you see with endoscopy usually. If you, you have an approach uh, from anal to oral in colorectal ESD, for example. And here we are in the side view. What are the edges? The edges are here, uh, thanks to these uh, red arrows. Uh, it is the, the edge, uh, the margin, the border of the, of the remaining submucosa. Uh, and these edges are a, a very good thing for you to detect and to expose because you can see, thanks to this edge view, all the remaining submucosa you have to cut to achieve your resection. So um, one of our fellows uh, uh, who is here for, for six months uh, to learn ESD ask, uh, but what is uh, the edges? The, what are the edges? What do you mean? What should we do? So um, he asked me to do uh, uh, something to explain more properly the edge. Um, and what is important, uh, thanks to the drawing, is that uh, uh, you should change the perspective when you want to achieve your resection. So here it's a drawing of lesion with several uh, layers. So I did three different layers of submucosa that are remaining under the lesion, which is partially dissected. And we did uh, voluntarily three different uh, layers in order to make understandable that it remains a lot of fibers of submucosa in three different layers. If my approach is from anal to oral, I don't know exactly how much submucosa I have to cut. I don't know how many fibers, how many layers of fibers I will have to cut. And therefore, I cannot push my knife to cut everything because I don't know where it, it, it is stopping. But if I can turn my scope and see the edge, I can see from only one view that all the remaining submucosa I have to cut can be cut in only one time. But if I do it from oral to anal, I cut every layer from each. So please try to have a lateral approach of the edge in order to see all the submucosa that is remaining. And you turn, you try to turn your scope to see this edge, to expose this edge and to cut everything uh, remaining in only one time. You will be really more effective than doing it from anal to oral. And now, endoscopically, uh, what it is, it's the end of a resection. You can see by frontally from oral to anal, I don't know what I have to cut because uh, I don't see exactly what is remaining, but if I come to the edge and try to expose it here, I can see everything that is remaining. And I will go back again, try to expose it, have a lateral approach, catch everything and cut all the submucosa in only one time. So this approach is not very effective. Going to the side and trying to have all the edge cut at the same time is for me uh, a key point to go faster. So it was the last episode uh, before holidays. And if you have no idea, I propose you to visit the best place in the world, the Cantal, my, uh, my, own, my originally uh, region where uh, Vingegaard won this week. And uh, clearly it's very beautiful. If you don't know Auvergne and the center of France, please come. See you uh, in, in September and hope you, you will train a lot and, and 
take a lot of information from this kind of uh, of uh, episodes. Thank you very much.